In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all, and with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord, for we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy and grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, constantly accomplish the Paschal mystery within us, that those you were pleased to make new in holy baptism may, under your protective care, bear much fruit and come to the joys of life eternal. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In those days, some Jews from Antioch and Iconium arrived and won over the crowds. They stoned Paul and dragged him out of the city, supposing that he was dead. But when the disciples gathered around him, he got up and entered the city. On the following death day, he left Barnabas for Derby. After they had proclaimed the good news to that city and made a considerable number of disciples, they returned to Lystra and to Iconium and to Antioch. They strengthened the spirits of the disciples and exhorted them to persevere in the faith, saying, It is necessary for us to undergo many hardships to enter the kingdom of God. They appointed presbyters for them in each church, and with prayer and fasting commended them to the Lord, in whom they had put their faith. Then they traveled through Pisidia and reached Pamphylia. After proclaiming the word at Perga, they went down to Atalia. From there they sailed to Antioch, where they had been commended to the grace of God, for the work that they had now accomplished. And when they arrived, they called the church together and reported what God had done with them, and how he had opened the door of faith to the Gentiles. Then they spent no little time with the disciples. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Let all your works give you thanks, O Lord, and let your faithful ones bless you. Let them discourse of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Making known to men your might and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is a kingdom for all ages, and your dominion endures through all generations. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. May my mouth speak the praise of the Lord, and may all flesh bless his holy name forever and ever. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give it to you. Do not let your hearts be troubled or afraid. You heard me tell you, I am going away and I will come back to you. If you loved me, you would rejoice that I am going to the Father for the Father is greater than I. And now I have told you this before it happens, so that when it happens you may believe. I will no longer speak much to you, for the ruler of the world is coming. He has no power over me, but the world must know that I love the Father and that I do just as the Father has commanded me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. What might Jesus mean when he says, 
you have heard me say, I am going away for a while, and I will come back to you. We might ask, in this Easter season, how the Lord is absent from our lives. We do not see him day to day, not in the human face he wore with Joseph and Mary, with his disciples, and with all those he came to serve. We likewise find it hard to see him in those around us, who too often seem to us to be unlovable. We cannot see him in ourselves. We are too aware of our own weaknesses and our distance from God. Or maybe we turn a blind eye to that frailty or that loneliness, and our arrogant independence does not allow us to even look for him. We might also ask, however, where Jesus is present to us. He did say, Behold, I am with you always until the end of this age. We believe that he is with us always in his profound love and constant attention to us as well as in the Eucharist. Whether we see him or not, he actually is present in us and in those around us, even in our weaknesses and in those people that need love. What you do for the least of my brothers, you do for me. And that is especially true for each of us. He is more present to us than we are to ourselves. Jesus has gone to the Father to leave a place for us to live now in the Spirit, and in that Spirit to seek Him, find Him and love Him in the lives of our brothers and sisters, and even in ourselves. Let us pray to the Father, our all-powerful God, who raised Jesus, our Savior, from death. For all who endure great hardships in the service of Christ and his gospel, through their sufferings may they lead many to the kingdom of God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are weighed down by cares and sorrow, may they be consoled by Christ's words when he said, Do not let your hearts be troubled. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those discerning vocations to the priesthood, diaconate, religious life, and lay ministry, that God may guide their hearts toward his will. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died and gone before us marked with a sign of faith. In a special way today, we remember Rosemary Munchauser. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of our parishioners confined to their homes or nursing facilities, for those who are sick and those who care for them, for those intentions entrusted to our prayers and those that we now offer from the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, in your great mercy, grant all that we ask of you in faith and devotion, for we make them in the name of your Son, Jesus, who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant, we pray, that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. By the oblation of his body, he brought the sacrifices of old to fulfillment in the reality of the cross, and by commending himself to you for our salvation, showed himself as the priest, the altar, and the lamb of sacrifice. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, William, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. On you stay. Qui tollis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tollis peccata mundi, 
miserere nobis, anius dei, qui tolis peccat amundi, dona nobis pacem. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.